Alright, so to prove this video, some of you might not know, but once the 1.17 update came out, people found the new SSG seed. Basically, SSG stands for Set Seed Glitchless. And Set Seed Glitchless is basically where you have a seed, and then you have to speed run that set seed as fast as you possibly can, already knowing how to optimally route it. So, 1.7 with 1.17, it came another a new seed. Um, this seed will be in the description. And basically, I'm going to be showing the basics of, like, how to do this seed um, at the current moment and what the best way is. So you can get a head start on knowing how to do it. Okay, so basically, this is what the seed looks like when you first spawn in. You can spawn in a variety of places. The one that I just spawned in is pretty much the optimal place to spawn in. So basically, what you first want to do is break this and then grab all of the obby and stuff in here and you can fast at the chest as fast as you can so then you have to get the and then before and then yeah and then you have to grab your beds but in this route you don't actually have a ruin portal to complete so you need flint to do it so there's two places to get flint if you want to get your flint before you get beds what you can do is go over here mine this block i just know it because it's like in the middle of these five diagonal blocks you mine down to here and then this is where your gravel is and but if you want to get your beds before your flint what you would do is you would grab this bed grab this bed grab this bed and then lastly, grab this bed. And then you go to this blacksmith. So in this area, there is another place to get flint if you want. If you dig in this little side of the mountain here, there is some gravel down there. And then you just have to push the gravel here. So basically, then you just have to get your flint like that. and. There are like benefits to both routes. If you're trying to like enter the end as fast as possible, maybe you would want to get this one, but if you want to get your bed and then loop around back here, this is also a good choice. And then you'll notice that there's another blacksmith here. We're gonna grab this obby. And this is so we have now 26 obsidian, which is enough to have six blocks. And we can use 10 to um, like, build your portal to get another and tend to go back so there's a variety of places you can build your portal you can build it like over here you can build it i'm pretty sure you can do it over there or you can do it over here i personally like building it right here because then i can grab the blacksmith chest and then immediately have my portal right here then i'm just going to ent uh, enter the nether by doing my flint steel and i'm going to look at that tree over there because this is like where you're gonna have to move in the nether. So see the fortress down there. We don't actually need the fortress. I mean, if you're playing like RSG or whatever, you'll need the fortress. Basically then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run here. Okay, yeah, so this is another different thing that you can do. You can either go up here or you can go around there down um, that area and then loop around to where we get to. I personally like going this way because it's more straightforward and I can also get more blocks from digging through this wall in case I don't already have enough blocks. And then I just wanna take the fall damage, tank the fall damage to get down here. Um, usually this lava won't be there because when you enter the nether, you would not be doing a tutorial and you would, that you would be zooming here as fast as possible. The lava wouldn't be there, and same story with this lava. So I'm just gonna go around it, but you wouldn't really do that. And then over here is where you would build your portal. So you just keep going forward, and you'll know you have the right area when you see this little cave tunnel down here. So you're not actually gonna go into this tunnel. You're gonna build your portal right here. So you can build your portal um, in this area, but I, I personally prefer going like this because I can have all my blocks like I don't have to like build up any blocks I already have this here so I can go like one three four one two one two three one two 
Anyway, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand right on this block right here. And then just stare forward. And basically, I spawn in the end portal. And this is a glitched end portal, which means it's not actually a 12 eye. It means if I look at my chunk borders, all of the eyes in this chunk are pre-filled, which makes the game in occurrences think that this entire end portal is filled, so then it fills only this um, this area. I think it's a bug. But basically, then you're just gonna enter the end right here. We'll be in a tunnel, but you can pretty easily just tunnel out. And then, another reason I like getting my nether act previously is because then I can jump up there. And then, you can go bed the dragon. You would get a good perch, which, wow, I got a good perch. <laughs> that perch is like, got, okay. <laughs> that perch is actually good in an actual run, what? And anyway, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown in case you didn't fully get that, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank <laughs> you.